Marvel's Avengers is dead, but the future for Marvel games is bright. Marvel's Avengers received mixed or average reviews from critics, according to review aggregator Metacritic. Destructoid summarized its 610 review by calling the game slightly above average or simply inoffensive. Fans of the genre should enjoy it a bit, but a fair few will be left unfulfilled. Shack News praised the campaign and unique character abilities, but noted the convoluted and uninspired menus and bug issues. Use Gamer scored the game 2.5-5 stars and wrote, If Marvel's Avengers was just the single-player story campaign, it would be amazing. There, Crystal Dynamics sells you on its version of the Avengers and introduces the charming and endearing Ms. Marvel to players everywhere. Combat has depth to it, and each hero truly feels distinct. Unfortunately, the endgame is where our heroes falter, with broken matchmaking, rough options in terms of progression, and endlessly reused environments and enemies. Electronic Gaming Monthly said Marvel's Avengers squanders the potential of what might have been a fun superhero romp by grafting on an annoying, overly repetitive games-as-a-service component. Playing as the cast of heroes offers decent thrills, and the campaign tells an enjoyable enough story, but odds are good you'll get bored long before you grind your way to the top. Game Informer gave the game an 8.75 out of 10, writing, Developer Crystal Dynamics delivers a powerful superhero showcase that taps into each Avenger's unique abilities to light up the battlefield in thrilling ways, but when the dust settles, it slows down to show a softer, human side that is every bit as engaging, placing a character you wouldn't expect in the central role. IGN gave the game 6 out of 10, praising its combat, superhero flavor, and campaign but criticizing its technical issues, loot system and recycled, repetitive endgame. After staying online for two and a half years, Marvel's Avengers, the troubled superhero game published by Square Enix and developed by Crystal Dynamics, will finally be dormant from March 31, 2023. The game's developers, Tomb Raider Studio Crystal Dynamics, put out a blog post announcing that the game will not receive any updates or new content after March 31st. They also said they would be ending support on September 30, 2023. Avengers was the best-selling retail game during its first week on sale in the UK and the US, the game was the top-selling title for the month of September, and second-highest launch month dollar sales of all time for a superhero game behind Spider-Man. The PlayStation version sold 42,979 physical copies within its first week on sale in Japan, making it the second best-selling retail game of the week in the country. Despite initial strong sales, Marvel's Avengers failed to turn a profit for Square Enix, with the publisher reporting an estimated loss of $63 million for their latest fiscal period at the time. In November 2021, Square Enix president Yosuke Matsuda described Avengers as a commercial disappointment for the company. However, he affirmed that service games would be an important focus for the company in the future. Following the Black Panther expansion in September 2021, the game returned to the top 10 of the UK video game chart for two weeks.